we have a private message from Joel, and we've got a brand new major order, which is quite honestly going to be impossible to complete. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. So this is the new major order. Freedom is under attack once more. In an act of sinister synchronicity, both the Terminids and Automatons have launched large-scale assaults. The Helldivers must now defend our citizens on two fronts at once. So why is this impossible? Well, I'm going to show you why this is impossible. These are the only major orders that we've actually managed to fail. So we never, ever, ever managed to complete these defense campaigns. Now, what makes this one dastardly, ridiculously dastardly impossible, <laughs> if I could get my words out, is there are 10 planets involved. We need to liberate 10 planets, and we've got four days and six hours left remaining. So we basically had five days to do this. Um, this is I, this is going to be very, very hard. So we've got Sharon Prime, which needs to be defended. We've got six hours and 28 minutes, 26 minutes left on that one. Uh, and then we've got Marfark as well, which needs defending. But then if we go over into uh, the Lasile sector, we can see Lasith is uh, the defense campaign as well. Um, and yeah, these are liberation campaigns. So what makes this super hard is coordination of the community. It's always really, really difficult. But the issue now is it's not just the bots. It's the bots and the bugs. So if we go over here, I mean, you'll notice straight away, even at this hour, when I'm recording the video, which is fairly early in the morning UK time, there's 64,000 Helldivers in the Mirin sector. Uh, there's 9,000 in the Seal. Um, and that's how you say that, isn't it? Whatever, in that sector. And then the Andromeda sector, there's 32,000. So this one bug sector is basically double the automaton front anyway. Uh, and we've also got 8,500 here in the Lestrada sector. So this is, um, yeah, it's going to be a problem. I think the thing with the, the player base is they generally like to kill bugs more than bots. So I think probably th this defense will probably get done. I don't know where the first planet is, um, what the defense was here, because we've missed one here, because one has actually been completed. I'd assume that was in the bug planets. Maybe that was a Starnu, actually. It probably was a Starnu. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to assume it's a bug planet. Um, but yeah, the problem with this is what's going to happen is the community will fracture because they won't. Th there's not one set goal to chase for. Whereas obviously, kill the bugs was was a very easy goal. And when it's just like defend one planet or attack one planet, it's very easy for the community to get behind that and do it. So it's going to be interesting. However, we we've got a private message of Joel, and we've got some more information here about what they're actually trying to do with these major orders. So let's check this out. Update from Joel himself: capturing Martel will not automatically end the Sharon defense event. The system does not work that way, but Joel can award the win manually if the Martel Gambit is successful. He will honor that commitment by granting the win on Sharon. Our galactic war systems are meant to work that way, but don't have that functionality yet. And so a lot of it has to be done manually and as such is a bit inconsistent. The Martel Gamble, Gambit sorry, is on. There is also this comment to the thread on Reddit uh, from the associate community manager, Spitz. And uh, they say this, side note, since the systems are meant to work this way, supply lines affect which planets are open to attack, but does not currently function that way automatically. Please let me know if the community does manage to cut off a planet and I'll pass on the information to Joel so we can make sure that it's consistent. So let me explain what's going on here. There is a supply line dynamic in this game. Let me show you. So let me explain what this is all about. It's about the supply lines and the supply lines not really functioning correctly in the game at the moment. So what you can see here is a map of the sector. Now we've got Martel there and then we've got Sharon Prime. And what Joel is saying is he will award the win manually if the Martel Gambit pays off. So if we capture this planet, this planet will then be given to us because it is cut off. You can see from the supply lines, there's no other way of getting to Sharon Prime. You have to go through Martel, so if you capture that, well, then it's all over. Now, what Spitz is saying is the game doesn't actually do this automatically at the moment, uh, and there is a problem with the, uh, well, I guess the way the game works, and they need to fix that. Um, also, this might sort of plug into the fact that we don't have supply lines actually in the game at the moment when we look at the Galactic War map. Obviously, I'm on this website, which is helldivers.io. You can go over there and check that out. There's a video, a link in the video description below. I definitely would add this to your bookmarks because it's a really good website. It gives you a ton of info um, as to like what we're actually doing in terms of the major order. I've shown it off a few times in videos, but like you can see um, that we've we're failing on every single front here on all of the planets, and we've got like you know how many helldivers are active at the moment? 121,000 players. And so, yeah, you can see this major order. It's just not going to complete. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it? Because, yeah, you have to come to an external website and then uh, basically turn the supply lines on or off 
if you want to see like the paths between planets effectively yeah so this is taken from discord uh, again from spitz one of the community managers I don't want to pull back the curtain too much, but this major order is set up so that players are intentionally going to lose ground on one of the two fronts. We've poked the Terminid Swarm and allowed the Automatons time to regroup, so both factions are pushing hard and attempting to reclaim territory. Defend events will be frequent and players now have to choose which front they want to fight on, but it's unlikely that you'll be able to hold them all. Choose carefully which planets you decide to focus on. Yeah, so basically, this just looks like Joel has got bored of us. <laughs> and he's like, go away. You completed major orders too fast. I'm going to give you a major order, which is really going to slow you down. But the interesting component to this is it does give a bit of, well, it gives a bit of story agency to the player base. We get to decide, do we want really angry bots or do we want really angry bugs? And I'm sure the devs have got two events ready to go. And whichever side we push back further, the other side will trigger that event or maybe the side that we push back the most will trigger whatever event they've got planned for us. It's an interesting one, this is, because even though there is player choice here, and you can say player agency when it comes to the story, I, I think there are some issues, though, with the way the game actually portrays and explains the major orders and, and where we should go. Because if you want to fight on the bug front, there's a couple of planets you can pick. If you want to fight on the automaton front, there's a couple of planets you can pick to do the major order. But that's the problem, isn't it? Players are going to be spread out, and it's intentional. We know that because we've just, I've just read comments off to you guys. I've just seen the comments on the screen. We know that's the intention by the devs. They want to slow us down. They want to um, basically say to us, what side do you want to fight? Which side are you going to push back? We're going to leave it over to you. But I do feel like this is a pretty much a stopgap major order over the weekend and going into early next week. And then the question will be, what is the next development in the Galactic War? Now, you can assume that possibly whichever side we push back, the other side will trigger an event. So I reckon the bugs will get really pushed back and there'll be more defense operations being completed over there. Does that mean the automatons will suddenly launch a massive attack? Or is the opposite true? Whichever side we push back, will they trigger an event? You know, there's been a lot of discussion about the TCS, the Terminated Control System. Is that going to actually fail? Is there going to be some sort of ridiculous badness which is going to happen? And maybe it makes sense for something like that to happen if we do effectively push the bugs back and do a lot of successful defense campaigns. But like I said, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. I think it's an interesting debate. So you guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. But very obviously, this is a major order to slow down the player base. <laughs> now this is some Chad behavior. Check this out. <laughs> This user on Discord says, uh, you're right, but you got to understand the people that have been working tirelessly on Martel, etc., just for their efforts to be worthless. And Spitz responds with a great comment. And this, again, it makes you feel like, you know, devs are not these superhuman individuals and like, wow, we need to be looking up to devs or whatever and all that crap. It, it, but but it does make you feel like it, the game's in good hands. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, this is great. These are the type of comments that you want to see. And it does make me think, yeah, these devs, they seem like they know what they're talking about. <laughs> Let's get it done. So uh, this is what Spitz says. It's so good. I'm going to be brutally honest. If anyone is genuinely upset that their time is being wasted or their effort is for nothing because they're playing on a planet that ultimately wasn't captured fast enough, those people need to realize this is an arcade horde shooter and not a mill sim. There's always going to be a disconnect between the hardcore strategy players and the casual divers who want to get on for a couple of missions after work and just go to their favorite faction or biome. That's the nature of having so many players. And I think it absolutely is, isn't it? At the end of the day, and I've, I've said this in like all of my videos, basically, play wherever you want on whatever planet you want against what enemy you want with whatever loadout you want on whatever difficulty you fancy playing on. And that is the moral of the story of Helldivers 2. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.